the Anzacs were evacuated because without significant reinforcements, no progress could be made against the strengthening Turkish. A three-day rainstorm on the 27th of November flooded trenches, drowning soldiers, and a blizzard in early December killed more. Moreover, local commanders were worried about supplying Gallipoli since severe storms were prevalent during winter. It was difficult for the Anzacs to evacuate, as they had to figure out how to leave the peninsula without creating suspicion among the Turks. They slowly moved soldiers onto ships that docked near the North Beach. The final evacuation was on the 18th to the 20th of December 1915. They used mules to move equipment onto the ship, but there are mules constantly moving around supplies, so this didn't raise any suspicion. The rush to enlist from an Australian perspective was massive, due to the picture the Australians saw themselves as, tough pioneers. Common mythology also existed that played on men's minds. This was that war made boys men. By this mythological thought existing, it encouraged men to join the army. But the CC views of propaganda shone a false view on the aspect of war, teaching that it would be fun and experiencing other places, dying for their country, etc. After the World War occurred, returning soldiers discovered it hard to mix in with society once more. This was due to the horrid and shattering experience these men saw. The Turkish shell fire was so terrific that the lines used to get busted up with bursting shells. Then the only communication was that's where the word runner was born. I was a runner. The loss of 60,000 young Australian men and three times that number suffering and enduring excruciating in injuries made it hard for the women and on the home front to cope with the tragedy due to the loss of relatives and friends. In 1916, the Returned and Services League was created. This allowed the men who returned from service to have equal rights as the wider community. When the war concluded, many families were left without fathers, brothers, brothers, relatives, friends, etc. This caused grief among the nation. Widows had to look after entire families, produce food. Thought of past experience with loved ones haunt those who remember, returning the good times. This can lead to the effects of depression, anxiety, etc.